Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video lecture would be focusing on how do we actually find the element in our Selenium web driver. Now, what do, like we have already seen what we mean by web element, how do we fire a web driver? But why do like why do we even need to find elements? Because the entire manipulation, the entire work in a Selenium autom or automation testing is done on elements. What can be an element? You know, anything can be an element for you. Your input box, your link, your button, your image, everything works or is used as an element for you. Now, what are the ways in which we can actually find the element or locate an element? For that, we have already seen how our locators look like and how do they work. But if in case I'm calling those locators into my, uh, into my Java functionality or when we are using WebDriver with Java, how we can call them? We have precisely two ways of finding an element in our web page. Let's see them one by one. So the first way is in which we find a web element on a web page. We have a functionality in which we call the find element functionality in which the name of the function is find element and this function will return a object of the type web element to us. On this web element, we can perform all the properties like fetching the text of the property, you know, uh, clearing the text of the property and then, uh, you know, uh, sending keys to the particular web element. All these things can be done. So this function is used to find an element when we need, when we know about the particular element and have to perform an operation on the same. Now, what happens if in case there is no such element found? If in case there is no such element on the page, then we get an exception as no such element exception. This part would be covered up in when we would be covering up exception handling in Selenium. So in case if this is having a zero match, then it throws no such exception. If in case we have one element found, then it returns the web element type object to us. If in case we have found more than one web element for having the same, you know, the same ID or anything, whatever we are passing. In that case, whatever is the first occurrence of the web element on the web page in the DOM is returned to us. Now, the second way in which we can find an element is the find elements function. Now, what this does is this function returns an array of web elements or a list of web elements to us. What do you mean by list? List would be a kind of, you know, and like if in case we have found five web elements with the same ID that we passed, then we would be having a list of web elements like type, uh, we can name it as say XYZ list. So XYZ list would be having, the length of the list would be whatever are the web elements with the same property on that particular page. So what it returns, if in case there is no match, then we get an empty list. If in case there is one match, then we get the list with one element. If in case there are one plus matches, then all the elements are returned in the list. Yes. So if in case you want to use all the elements, then you have to pass it using the find elements methods and it returns a list. Now we, in the next video, we would be, you know, working on find element and find elements uh, methods one by one with a practical demo.